I'm so pleased with season three. I'm your local homo, back with another video. Today I'll be reacting to Emily and Sue's love story from Dickinson season three. I am just a little bit excited for this. We have gotten through season one and season two. If you haven't seen the other two, they are linked down below, so go and check them out. Let's jump straight into it. Sue! So, bottled over here like a bloody walrus. You're a cute walrus. She's pregnant? <laughs> She's, she's pregnant, what the hell? My mom really needs me. Well, I need you too. So, so. You're having my brother's baby. So what, that doesn't change anything. I only love you. Changes Listen everything. I love you. I will always love you. Except I wish this baby was yours. I wish it belonged to you and me together. Why can't a baby have two mothers? I... Wouldn't you come and kiss me, please? God damn it. I mean, two women can have babies. In modern times, you've got IVF, you've got a donor, you've got ways of doing it. But the fact that it's her brother's baby, this is confusing. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Morning, Sue. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, well, Austin needs to apologize. That's why I'm here. I need to get everyone back together again. I thought you were here to see me. Once this baby's born, I want it to know that whoever it turns out to be, that I love it unconditionally. Same way I love you. I love you so much, Emily. OK, well, oh. listen, if, they, if the baby's coming, then um, uh, Austin should be here. I don't Emily think. Dickinson, don't you dare leave this room. He is the father. He should be here. I don't need Austin. I need you. Sue, it's me. Emily? Come in, please come in. Sometimes I would like to feel chosen. <laughs> I would choose you over anyone. But you are chosen. Emily has clearly chosen you and time after time you decide not to choose her. She's right in front of your face. This is driving me nuts. She's treating Emily like a freaking yo-yo or something. It's infuriating. Anytime, any place, there are poems that I want to write for you. Okay, Emily. But, but what if I need more than your poems? What turns you on? Say it right now. Hey, oh. it's Sue. I love Sue. A woman, <laughs> yeah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Scream it. I love Sue. Okay. I love Sue. And I. Did she just come out? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What is going on? I want her and I can't get enough of her. And if I was on my deathbed right now, all I would want is Sue. I love you. Wasn't expecting that. I love you more than anything or anyone on earth, and you need to know that so deeply that you never doubt it. You need to know it in your bones. And if it takes me telling you every single day for it to sink in that deep, then I'm gonna do that. Because you are my everything, Sue. Emily. I can't live without you. I can't breathe without you, and I can't write without you. You might be his wife, but I'm yours. I feel like that's just a little bit desperate. I don't know, it just uh, it comes down to self-respect. Like, Emily, come on. Sue's just, I don't know, she can't make her mind up. Perhaps you two should teach it to your young boy one day. You mean me and Emily? No, oh, I meant you and Austin. Sue, I... Emily, don't touch me right now. He he did mean it. He won't Emily, leave you, I don't Sue. care about Austin. I care about you. What I don't understand is why you gave this man the same poem that you gave to me. Like, you're completely alone. It doesn't even mention me. I wanted to. God, it's like, ever since I've had a baby, I've ceased to exist. Sue, please. You know what? You're just like Austin. Oh. Sue, I was waiting for you. Don't worry about his feelings getting involved. When you say you love a line, well, maybe all that really means is that you love me. I do love you, Emily, and what is wrong with that? 
This is infuriating. This is driving me freaking crazy. Why don't you choose her? Why don't you just say, fuck it? I'ma choose Emily over Austin and raise this baby as a homosexual couple. I mean, as long as the kid's got two loving parents or somebody that loves them, <laughs> that's what's important. Who cares about hetero norms? Jesus. Emily clearly wants you. She showed you that since season freaking one. But you can't see it because you're so busy trying to act hetero that you just throw on her side. Of course I want you. Kiss me. I can't. She was a sapphic, a homosexual, a woman who loved other women. Is it true what she said about you loving other women? It's Sue. It's always been Sue. I love Sue. I think you are so unbelievably lucky to have someone you truly love to spend your <laughs> life with. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting her to get, like, just berated for being homosexual. And the fact that this young girl has been like, you're so lucky to have loved someone. I think that's great. If I had that, I would be so happy. And if that person was alive, in the present, with me, in the here and now, I would run right into their arms and never let them go. Mm -hmm. What? You don't even want to kiss me. <gasps> no, of course I do. Of course I do. It's just... Uh, yeah, you, you seem... Uh, I knew it. You're not attracted to me anymore. You're putting words in my mouth. Let me put something else in there. <laughs> Daddy dog! <laughs> Met something anonymous. Emily, I gave him one of your poems. She get published. These are the days. Almost. That plausibility induces my belief. Till right. ranks of seeds their witness bear. Um, I'm so pleased with season three. I mean, they really turned it around. I'm feeling quite giddy at the moment, actually. I was feeling quite blue before this reaction. I'm uh, struggling a bit with my headspace this has helped me feel better i can't wait for season four to see where they take this because clearly those two have chosen each other thankfully we've been waiting three seasons for that dickinson is a peculiar tv show it's not something that i would usually watch i have enjoyed season three probably the most out of all of them just because there's not so much back and forth between those two i still can't believe sue's having a freaking baby with austin <laughs> like just throw that in the mix i hope you enjoyed today's reaction please let me know what your thoughts were down below i'll see you in my next video much love